So, all right, YouTube, today we have another donation deck click for the Barreros. Um, this is a uh, lands deck, Legacy Lands. Uh, how this deck works is it is like a resource denial deck that attacks mana bases, attacks uh, creatures with cards like uh, Tabernacle, Maze of Ith, uh, Grove of the Burn Willows, Punishing Fire, and then it uses Thespian sp Stage plus Dark Depths to win most games. I guess, I mean, I don't think you ever Punishing Fire anybody out anymore, but, you know, that's what it goes. Um, and this is, uh, this is, I, I haven't played this deck very much at all, so... You know, today's YouTube video, there'll probably be a couple stumbles, but I do like playing this deck, so we're going to give it a try. Remember that you can type in um, exclamation point wrestling in the chat, and you can check out the Barrero Brothers. Um, they're magic players from where I learned to play magic. They're looking to be a part of the Canadian National Wrestling Team. So if you donate $10 to myself or the Barreros, I will play your deck on stream. And that's what this is. So... You have to be, everyone's gonna have to bear with me here because this is apt to be, you know, we're gonna have fun with this stream, but there's probably gonna be a stumbler or two. So I do not claim to be playing perfect magic during ever, but especially during this stream. So many lands. Sort by color. Sort by rarity. I don't know. I'm trying to make it so this all fits in here. Because we have too many lands, we can't move it over in this section here. <clears throat> did you see what I did yesterday? I did not, Inferno. I did not. Yesterday was my wife's birthday, so I was I was pretty uh pretty off. So, uh, social media for the most point for the most part it's in the grinders discord All right, let me check it out let me check it out I really like this is one of my favorite decks to watch kind of do its thing Oh, yesterday was Ruby's birthday. Do you set up a stream? I'm, I'm missing it. I can't see where it is. There's too much. An image. Mm. Oh, the no, that was a while ago. Don't see it. <clears throat> All right. We'll get to the games and we'll get back to it. We want to play, which is sweet. And this hand's got a loam, a thicket, a port. I wonder if you're supposed to keep hands without like exploration or mox diamond. But I think I'm going to keep this. Like, we might just, like, randomly get him. Like, if my opponent plays a Delver. I keep with the TLDR. Oh, nice. This hand is keepable? Okay. I'm going to need quite a bit of that. 
How's it going, man, with the plan? Um, I'm just going to play the canopy. I might want to do something with this. I don't know. All right, Island Ponder. Ooh. I'm going to play this. <clears throat> All right. That's nice. We should have cycled EOT. I, I, I thought we were supposed to wait in forever since I've seen that name on Moto. Yeah, I don't know who it is. I, I thought I was going to wait to bring back a loam at some point, but maybe I just don't have like the mana advantage for that. Now, we're going to get a little weird here with Life from the Loam and Sylvan Library. I feel like I remember Tim saying that if I, I can actually draw the cards from Loam and I don't have to put them back. We have to cast Loam before we can... Yeah. So yeah, maybe I was just too slow. Underground Sea. Uh-oh. I'm dead. Rot row. Infernal Dude or Crack. This is a. Uh, this is a. This is a. Whatever is that nauseum? Yeah. Infernal Tutor. My phone needs like an LED, right? No, they don't have it. Unless they just have like... I don't know when... I guess they, they have Dark Petition. So Dark Petition for LED. But they, they discarded their tendrils. They don't have, they must have another way to make red mana. How's it going, Andy? Oh, I found an LED. Okay, that doesn't matter. That's what they got with that then. So we were good. And now they go get uh, Past in Flames. They just do it all again. If my opponent puts Past in Flames on the stack, I'll scoop it up. Yeah, they did Past in Flames. Yep, we're not gonna, we're not gonna make them go through this. Okay, so we want all of our, all of these, um, I wonder if it's like good to bring in Crows and Grip because like they might be incentivized to play some of their LEDs, like especially if we have a sphere, like get them out there so that they can mitigate some of the mana. I don't know. Well, cards I know I don't want. I don't want Punishing Fire. Barbarian Ring seems not great. Glacial Chasm seems not great. Just a grown man getting his license and going to driving school. Nice. Maze of Iths don't seem great. Now that is Caracas. Probably want these. this choke, maybe. Like, they do play... It does make it so that if they fetch basic island to ponder, things get harder for them. I'm gonna keep this tendril, this tabernacle in, in case they uh, empty me, which maybe I I should just think that they're not gonna do that. So it's kind of between like we've got three spots. We can bring all of these in. Library might be slow. So glad I'm not like that anymore. <laughs> um, I think the choke's better than the crows and grip. Can't say only four months for. That sucks. All right, let's see what this looks like. 
Gunner Gambles, Gunner Crop Rotations, Exploration. Oh yeah, Tim doesn't play Mana Bond anymore. I wonder if I need all of these groves or if I can board down like another land to bring in something like just another Crows and Grip. Yeah, we don't really need the groves if we're we cut the punishing fires. I'm gonna just try this. Again, I, I don't play lands a lot, so I, I played lands like twice before, so I, I don't know too much about this deck. So things are gonna be fast and loose to start here. Don't over sideboard, okay. I just thought I have like so many cards are just bad. All right, we have a turn one sphere and a bog and a loam. So I'm going to keep this. I'm going to ditch one of my Thespian stages and then go get like a Taiga and then sphere my opponent. And then we can loam. Any chance we'll see some UV shadow later if you're doing Legacy all day? I'm doing uh, donation lists today. So, um, oh, okay, here we go. So play that. I actually don't want to play my bog. I'd like to get make my bog a little juicier. So I think I'm just going to play this out. Play a land. Next turn, loam these two back, play two lands. Um... I, I will play, yeah, so that's what we're going to do for now. We're playing just the donation lists. I've got this, then I've got um, Recruiter of the uh, rec uh, recruiter of the Guard deck, and what we got here? Weird name. A Recruiter, uh, like a, a Bant Alluren deck, and then Elves. I'm actually doing this, uh, doing this, um, doing this fundraiser for Wasteland. All right, so let's waste my opponent. Loam these back. Hey, Arc Mage, it's been a while. Uh, wish I was able to stream more. Hey, congratulations on the wedding planning there, Andy. Join the club, my friend. So now we just start Loman. And we're just digging for a Dark Depths now. Like, we probably have enough to go off here. Um, yeah, so this, this uh, fundraiser is for the Canadian National Wrestling Team, Andy. The Barrero brothers are a part of the Indian Reservation, the Akwasaki one, and they wrestle for Canada. So this is, we're doing this for your people. The Canadian pride. I'm going to fetch before I dredge loam, just so that I have like a, I don't run out for some weird reason. I don't know if that's like not good to do, but. All right, we have Thespian Stage. Okay, so. Then I can play two lands and I can hold up this. I actually can't crop rotate this turn. So I think I'm just gonna play Wasteland, play Canopy. So I can't even like hold to do, to crop rate, rotate for um, for like something to try to like a, like a Dark Deaths because it would cost two. I think I'm just gonna sack this and I I kind of just actually want to draw a card. But this just doesn't matter when I do it. All right, Dark Depths right there. So now I can bog my opponent 
Um, they ditched a chain of vapor. That's not good. So let's go. Here, here, here. Now, can I get away with just holding up for to make the 2020, or do I have to bog? We can waste our own bog and loan back. That makes sense. If they ditch Chain of Vapor, they probably have a way to get rid of this sphere. So if they have a way to get rid of this sphere, I think I'm dead no matter how many cards are in their graveyard. So I think I'm just going to play Dark Depth, play Horizon Canopy, and pass. And then just say, like, kill me. So this gets bounced. Well, yeah, I mean, I think that the, the fact that they ditched Chain of Vapor means that they're going to be able to go for it. I think. Like, and I don't think having them have an empty graveyard with six cards in hand. Hang on. So I can sacrifice a land to... player does they may copy the spell and they may choose a new target for the copy oh yeah I mean I guess we're gonna do that oh it does it only does non lands oh shoot all right well I'll discard this whatever I thought it hit lands also chain of vapor did so I was like oh man I'm gonna bounce their land cancel we're not gonna do that again I was like I thought I can hit their stuff but new um, let's ditch the tabernacle and then just be like, all right, kill me. All right, well, this is a good start. Yeah, I don't play against Chain of Vapor that often. Yep. I'm just going to go yield until next end step. All right. Infernal Tutor, the Ritual on the Stack. So that's eight Storm. So they can go get another Tutor, which is nine Storm, and they tendrils me. Yep. Well, they're just going to rack it up. Okay. All right. Well, we got beat up there, but I think we're, like, I think that's kind of a tough matchup. I wonder if there was something... I wonder if wasting the bog would have mattered. Or, I mean, like, bogging our opponent would have mattered the turn, that turn. It probably wouldn't. I think I had to... Hey, if I was supposed to donate directly to them, but I donated to you for them. That's, that works as well, Andy. And I appreciate it. If you have a deck list you'd like me to play, Andy, then go for it. And... And just know that I won't be I'm going up to Vermont for a wedding so I won't be stream I'll stream Monday and then I won't stream until um whatever it is uh I'll be streaming until probably next next week because I gotta go up to Vermont I got some job interviews gonna be up there for a couple days I'm really excited to play elves later. Who would like to play first? And we got the turn one library, so I am going to keep. We're probably gonna ditch forest. I don't care, okay. All right, then I'll make, I'll do something that I like to play. And we'll say that this is all because of Andy, because Andy's the man. I wonder how that shows up on our Oh, it, it converts it to the it converts the money in the uh, thing. That's cool. 
mono, blue, control, and modern. I think I would gouge my eyes out. So my opponent rolls to five. I think I'm just going to ditch this forest because we already have like blood moon insulation and there's a chance that this uh, th this maze of it can like we want this to deal with creatures rip our dollar should play Canadian threshold I could do that what did foothills go so we're playing it's blue red delver or rug delver if I had to guess yes I just take eight because all these cards are kind of medium and I can dig for a loan. I'm going to do that. I think if we're playing against Delver, we're going to be okay anyways. So I'm just going to play this and pass. Playing Canadian Threshold will be... So I'll, I'll play Rug Delver for Andy's donation because I, I really like playing Rug Delver. And it is with the Canadian ways. Forest Forest. Sylvan Library. Okay. Do I want to copy a forest? Does that do anything? I don't think so. How's it going, Dito? By a real Canadian. Alright, show me a loam. Okay. So put on top. I'm gonna, I guess I'm just gonna pay four. Cause then I can go like ditch, thespian stage, get back two cards. Nah, that seems loose. Just in case we aren't playing against lands. Play this, pass the turn. Not much. Um, just playing some magic. We have this bog, which is sweet. If we are playing the mirror, though, they have two forests. Which is a lot. That's awesome. They had a 13-year-old, 12 or 13-year-old, won the MCQ up at Grand Prix Niagara. And it was the Friday before MCQ, so it was like the, the more intense... MCU, not the better one because everyone's good. Oh, we're playing against elves. Okay. So now we want to stage a thespian. Or, okay, so now I'm going to kill something in response here so they can't make the mana. All right, I have no idea how this is going to work here with this loam. So, um, I, I'm going to draw, because the Mox Diamond's on top, and I think I want that. So let's draw the diamond. Yes. Dredge the loam. And then I can dredge the loam again. Oh, nice. Then I pay the life and I keep the cards. Okay. Whew. All right. So I want to play this. Ditch. Probably Bajoku Bog. Loan back. What happened to my... Okay, okay, okay. All right. This is Like I said, this is going to be a little... little loosey-goosey here so I'm gonna play the port and then I'm gonna pass and if my opponent fetches a dryad arbor then I'm gonna kill it if not then because it, it like wastelands them as well bring this back yes
And then pass. Or what one of those secret impression sent away to Sam Shaquille? I I don't know who did. I didn't I didn't stay for the whole thing. I went I went one two in that and I was like, alright, I'm gonna get out of here. What's your favorite non MTG games? Um I really like playing Settlers of Catan. Uh oh. Maybe I should have played a glacial chasm. Just in case. Settlers of Catan is my favorite game. Um, all right, well, that's not bad. All right, they, have, they have so much mana, though. So if they find a way to draw cards here, I'm in a lot of trouble. Into a Cradle. Natural Order. Kills me. Right? So maybe I should have played the Chasm just in case. Yeah. I probably should have played the Chasm. They're kind of taking a while here. Did you like draw your Crater Hoof and you're trying to hope that I concede? I think that's what happened. I could have played Maze of it also. I feel like they totally drew the Crater Hoof Behemoth and they're hoping that I scoop it up with this. Shouldn't have paid life for the Mox Diamond. Yeah. So they ate the Punishing Fire. Okay. So they totally drew, they drew the Crater Hood. Going up. Did you remember watching Match on Two? Something else do you know your thoughts on this? Oh, okay. Okay, crop rotation is good. So let's go. Okay. Use this. If I can find a wasteland and then crop rot. That works too. Hang on, I have an exploration. So Can I just pay four and keep both of these? And then start. Just sacrifice a land. Ghost quarter for tabernacle and then go. I, the problem is I have to, well, so I guess I could go play Glacial Chasm and then crop rotation at the end of my opponent's turn. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So play Chasm, sack a land. If I can play Chasm, sack a land. Oh, man. Do I have to pay for life? I did play against the dinosaur deck. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna, I just had to figure out how to do it and if I need this exploration, if I need the mana or not. So, I'm going to play Chasm, sacrifice a land. And then if, so, I'm going to have these three in play and this. Crop rotation, sacrificing like Glacial Chasm. Get my Dark Depths combo. So I actually don't even need, I don't even need the exploration so put on top put on top okay so play this sacrifice this do this with that okay and now i just pass and then i crop rotation at the end of my opponent's turn make a 20 20 and give him the business. And I have to make sure to sack this glacial chasm to my um, crop rotation. Okay. Yeah, like I said, this is 
my first or second time playing this deck, so it's going to be a little choppy. I should just go yield until next end step, probably. Oh, no, they might, like, do something weird. Yeah, there's a lot going on with this deck. Uh, well, I can't port Cradle and make the 2020 at the end of the turn, right? At least I didn't. When I did my math, I didn't think that I could do that. Okay, Wirewood Symbiote. I should just yield to this. At this point, I can just always yield to this trigger. I've almost got one card. I think it's a Crater Hoof. Because if they would have just green, if they would have natural ordered for Crater Hoof last time, then they just killed me. Yeah, we have to go get Depths because of the Archon. Give me the 2020 as you free my soul. Target this one. And then I have to keep the one with zero counters, right? Okay. Whew. All right. I think it is. Yeah, I just have to like not toss it. So the chalice is probably pretty good, right? Maybe even the spheres are good. I don't know if they're too slow. If I should just try to put my head down and kill them. Did I pour my dark depths? I just not, like, I was just paying attention and like... Huh. I, I just I just clicked on the wrong land. That's literally what I did. I clicked on the like I looked at my lands and I was like, okay, tag this. And I was thinking about like which dark depths do I have to keep and I just messed it up. Huh. Nice. I was just focusing on like once I make my 2020, which because I have to keep the dark depths with zero counters on it. And that's what I was paying attention to, and I just ported myself. So Alright. We got him. Okay, um, I don't really think I want anything else. I kind of want all of these, but my opponent might make too much mana to have these even matter. Like, maybe it's just the Chalice of the Void, and I can cut, like, the Bajoku Bog. And that's, like, it, I think. Sphere on turn one or two matters. Okay, I didn't know if it was close enough. Like, if... if I don't know if they could just like overpower this. Um, probably could cut some lands here. Um, I don't know what to cut though. Doesn't Caracas bounce the Archon? Dark Depths. The forest doesn't really matter. They're not going to go. They have Assassin's Trophy, though. I'm going to cut this canopy. You believe it's not? Okay. I think it's a card that should be legendary when you read it. We probably could cut a Wasteland. Because, like, they're going to play Basic Forests. But, I mean, Wasteland and Cradle... Like, it's not like we're going to be able to Wasteland and Cradle for any value anyways. It's not legendary. I'm going to do this because my opponent's going to hold... And, like, that might be ludicrous to think against, like, the Cradle deck. But they're going to hold their Cradle until they can use the mana right then. Alright, so this hand's pretty sweet, right?
It doesn't need to be legendary. Okay. Well, so is Thalia. <coughs> so I can either like turn one poor our opponent. <coughs> can kind of get away to that. The poor doesn't really do as much now. All right. Hang on. So this is just a turn two, 2020, because I, no. Play Mox Diamond, Ditch Wasteland, play Port, Port Them, play Thespian Stage, Port Again, play Dark Depths, is that too slow? I can also just Crop Rotation for Tabernacle and that's just gonna give me infinite time. I think I'm gonna do that because we have the combo and if I just get Tabernacle in play, then it's just gonna make everything so much harder for my opponent and then I can play Port also. And I don't expose anything to this. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. Ditch this, play this. Crop rotation, where are you tabernacle? And again, I don't know if this is correct to do or not, but against the deck with 4 million creatures, like, you know, the tabernacle's got it. It's what tabernacle's there for, you know? I really appreciate everybody showing up and hanging out tonight, watching me kind of stumble through, or this morning, I guess, watching me stumble through this. This definitely isn't my kind of magic, but... Ooh, is he cradle? Now I wish I had my Wasteland, but I can actually just loam back and Wasteland the Cradle. No, I can't because I played that land. So... <clears throat> so now I'm just going to play Port, Pass, after my opponent pays, and then I'll Port them. I'm just going to always yield to this. Just yield to all of these. And then port this. Again, like... There's probably a way that I could have turboed out a Merit Lage, but I'm not sure there's a way that I could turbo out a Merit Lage and play around, like, excuse me, an Assassin's Trophy if they have it. And I think just getting, and like, I guess, like, the Tabernacle still gets trophied, so that might not be the best logic in the world. Okay, another Cradle. All right, here comes the Wombo Combo. Return a force you control. All right, opponent hits me for three. I, I don't know, like, I don't know when I should be trying to, like, step on my opponent's throat and end the game or play passively. Kind of sucks to do that. Green. Get this back. Wasteland this. We're going to nab one of these. Yes, Tabernacle seems good against Elves. I'm going to be playing Elves later. 
which is interesting. So now they can play a land and then play Quirion Ranger. But I'm just going to play Thespian Stage. Then next turn, play Dark Depths. That doesn't gain them any mana because they had to pay. It appears we are both stumbling a little bit. And this is destroy, right? And this doesn't, this ignores it because it's, um, yeah, might as well dredge alone. Okay, Maze of Ith, sure. All right, play Thespian Stage. I guess there was no reason to play state. Nah, it's still, like I'm not gonna be able to port. They're not going to play a land. If they do, then we'll just port it at the end of the turn. Interesting play, Ranger. I mean, I'm not really sure what my opponent can do, right? Like, it's just that miserable. But, yeah, the old one mana put a creature in the graveyard. Okay. That doesn't even really work. All right, there's crop rotation just in case. Just in case something fishy happens. I can go get a glacial chasm if I need to. Now let's make sure that we don't port our own, uh, our own depths this time. That would be proper line of play. It's going for it. Elvish Visionary is good. <clears throat> they can't like make black mana unless they like if they play a Bursal Ranger. I think I'm just gonna make the 2020 because I don't want them to be able to make black mana and with this and then trophy. Trophy me. But I don't know how they would even like. I can just respond to the trophy. So, I don't know. I'm a fan of getting this tabernacle when we did. It was nice. My opponent struggled against the tabernacle. So when this becomes the copy, I keep this one. Let this one die, and then this one makes Merit Lage. At least we had good memes. Like, I mean, have you ever seen it? Like, my ports are so good that even if I port my Dark Depths, they still concede. I think it just means I'm good at lands. Okay. Still can't like natural order me because this is a uh, this is an insect and this isn't an elf, so they can't tap these to make three mana.
Okay, they just scooped it up. Didn't even make me have to execute the Thespian stage Dark Depths, which we see is difficult for me to do. All right, I'm going to grab some more coffee. I'll be right back. Yeah, exactly. That's the line. So again, everybody that's watching this today, these are donation deck lists to help benefit the Barrero brothers. They are uh, wrestlers for the Canadian national uh, wrestling team. They're looking to help fund some of their um, travel and expenses and training. Um, they don't, Canada doesn't necessarily give the same support that they do to other larger sports. So, you know, the, Benefits from this stream are going to them this month. We're gonna to try to raise $500. So if you donate me $10, I will play your deck list on stream uh, Today we're going to play lands um, uh, Ban Aluren and elves and then we're gonna to try to get into modern to play some four color shadow some blue white control in the new Tron deck with the new Karn so we probably won't be able to get to all of those today because my brain will melt if I stream six decks. But between today and tomorrow, I'll get those done. Then I am up in Vermont for a week. So the decks will pool up. And uh, then I'll... So if you donated like now, like I'll probably play Andy's Canadian Threshold deck um, next probably Tuesday or Wednesday. So there will be a little bit of a break. I'm sorry about that. But... I will get to it. I promise. This means this uh this means a lot to me. So, if you help make it happen, then I'll make sure that I do my part to make it happen as well. So we got one win. So you know, all is not lost. All right. I would like to play first. Heater. We have an exploration. Double exploration. No way to cast it. Okay. This is a mox diamond. All right. We're out here. We're out here doing it. Probably, like, feel bad. You know? We got the old Natty Tabernacle in case we need it. Yeah, I'm cool dying with Blood Moon in game one. You know, that's just kind of what we sign up for. We don't need the redundant copy. Blood Magus. Dude, Punching Fire, sure. Okay, so I probably want to... Do we want to keep this? Or do we want to bin it? What if I just played Canopy and passed? Because like, I want to ditch can maybe I should have kept the I should have kept the dark depths on top so that I could ditch this dark depths. That would have been the play. That would have been the big brain move here. I'm just gonna play the canopy and pass. I should have kept Dark Depths on top so that I could ditch this to this. Wastes. So if I play this. Play this, ditch this, play Tabernacle. I feel like we're playing against an Eldrazi deck and Tabernacle is going to be good. So... This Wasteland's probably also going to be good. But I could just crop rotation for another Dark Depths if I need it. So yeah, I'm going to ditch Dark Depths. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm going to play Stage. Because if they play a Soul Land, I might want to copy it. You just wait on playing the Diamond. I, I wanted to do it because maybe I could copy a Stage, but like... Or uh, like an Ancient Tomb, but I guess that doesn't really matter. Alright, opponent scoops it up. So they're probably like, we can't win this matchup. So I think this is probably like an Eldrazi deck. I don't really know how to sideboard against an Eldrazi deck. Like Crucible Worlds is probably good if they're going to be trying to fight on our mana. Um, but besides that, I think everything else is Crows and Grip. If they have like an Ensnaring Bridge. But like Chalice on 1 doesn't even do a lot to us. Um, what cards can we cut? We probably can cut Caracas. Unless we're worried about Emrakul. But, like, they're just going to hard cast Emrakul. Barbarian Ring's probably not that great. Grip on Chalice for two. Okay. Um. We probably don't need that many punishing. Like, I doubt this is a punishing. Like, maybe we can just keep one punishing fire in to gamble for if we need to. Because, like, everything's going to be so much bigger. Anyways, I think this is what I'm going to do. Just keep one in to gamble for if, if like, that comes up. All right, I'm going to submit. Yeah, when I was starting to do this uh, fundraiser, I thought about, like, reaching out to KYT also because, you know, he's Mr canada content but i didn't want to like bug him because i didn't know if this was something that he was interested in so all right crop rotation yeah we have crows and grip in library crop rotation for tabernacle if we need it i think i'm just gonna keep Ravi temple And this one for two, okay. I could just play this, it takes them off two mana. Yeah, let's put them to the test early. Because this is either gonna give me a lot of time or, um, or it's gonna like time walk my opponent. Okay, so they have a Caracas, which we can deal with. So we should be mindful of that. All right, well, I'm going to play this in case they do play a Wasteland that I can just crop rotation this away. They will let it go, which probably means that Thorn. Thorn doesn't really matter. I, th I could Wasteland them, but I think I'm just going to keep building up my mana. Like, I guess whatever the card is is really annoying. Um, Thought Knots here, so maybe I should have wasted them. Yeah, I should have wasted them. I guess I could have crop rotationed for, and then like gone waste, waste. Hmm. No, I can't, because I can't even, because it costs two. Herp a derp. Okay. So this cost, this is neutral. So getting this into play isn't even that good versus it being just a rainbow land. So I could just play this, play my land, and I have two mana, and I could hold up crop rotation, I guess. It's not neutral next turn. So that's that's why that's why it's probably good to just get in the it's like making two land drops. 
And then maybe I can start like... I'm gonna ditch this Verdant Catacombs. Because we might be cycling this end of turn. And then I'm just gonna Wasteland this to make it so they have to take damage, I guess. Or I guess the Wasteland's done. Wasteland will choke them. We could double waste them, yeah. Which means that if we draw, like... But I can also do that next turn. So I'm just going to waste this. Because now if I draw, like, another Wasteland or a Ghost Quarter, they might cast a spell. So you're just thinking... You're thinking about just, like... Just getting them. I should probably do it in my opponent's upkeep to use the land they don't use. Like, I have to fight through this Caracas, but if I find it... Okay. I'm going to do it in their upkeep, and I'm going to wait to use the mana that... Like, they're probably going to use this, and then I'll just fight a way around this Caracas eventually. I guess I just put this in the graveyard. Go get another wasteland. <clears throat> You're just gonna die of the four four. I like. There's definitely a chance that happens, but maybe we can like. I don't know. Strand them. All right, well, now I'm going to play the library because the library gives me the most looks at, like, another Wasteland or something next turn. So, yeah, I think I messed up because I just drew a Wasteland that kept on point with what we're doing, and I chose not to do it. So, yeah, I, I messed up. I done messed up. All right. Yeah. Well, I was one piece. I was two pieces from winning, right? Because I needed a way to deal with this as well. All right. I mean, exploration is cool. Crop rotation. I had a waste. So then I needed my crop rotation. Yeah, okay. So I needed two. I needed one ways. Yeah, you're right. Exploration doesn't do anything for me. So I've got one, two. I'm going to put this on top. Put this on top. And now I've got to think. That's what I think we're going to do, yeah. So, like, I'm going to waste the tomb, waste the city of traders, and that also shuffles my deck. And I'll probably just sack the tranquil thicket. Yeah, we're, we're giving it a whirl here. Things aren't going... Things are things are a little choppy, to say the least. Let me go get another wasteland. And now this at least clears our library. Yeah. Okay, we drew a Taiga, which does nothing. Dude, if we drew a Life from the Loam, 
that wouldn't do it because of the sphere. The thorn, excuse me. Punishing fire. That doesn't do anything. Gamble. One, two, three, four. So I guess I just put this on top. Put this on top. Gamble for life in the loam. Then play my land. No, I want to gamble for loam, right? Yeah, we can't cast loan, but we don't die this turn, right? Like we kill we kill the thought knots here next turn. <clears throat> well, we've we've already used all four of our wastelands. And we they showed us a basic waste. They they have basic waste though, so we should just get life from the loan. Okay, and then just cross our fingers. Like, don't have a land. Damn it. All right, so that changes things. All right, we had Dark Depths. I, I'm not sure about the way that I should be ordering this. Ghost Quarter, Thespian Stage. Any of my upkeep. Go score this. Put this on top. Yeah, no, we're dead. You need to play land first because you discard land. Oh, you're right because it costs one more. All right, so we'll scoop this up. Like I said, this is my first or second time playing this deck. So things are going to be a little shaky, a little shaky here. We're not going to have the greatest of plays. We're just trying to figure it out here. This Pajoku Bog isn't great. I wonder if Tireless Tracker is fine just as like a little, like on the play, as like a way to just get in front of morons. Okay, yeah, you, you guys are right. I messed that up. Cause like the bog doesn't really do anything. I don't wonder if I should have these punishing. If I should have more than one punishing fire in the deck. Cause they did have endless one, so I probably have Eldrazi mimic as well. And if they're white, they might have Thalia. Okay. All right, I think we're gonna go like this. I don't really want to cut any other of my lands. I think the rest of my lands are pretty good. I need to take more time to evaluate like how I'm winning the game. Also, that's gonna be a goal of this game. All right, I would like to play first. Oh, what does this do? I could gamble for exploration and then try to f set up a fast merit lage, which I think is what I should do. I think I'm going to gamble for exploration and then just try to set up a quick merit lage and win this game. Is that too slow though without an exploration? I guess this is really loose to chalice on one. 
All right, we ditched a ghost quarter, which is not, which is okay. Spyglass. Okay. So now I'm going to play exploration, play stage, play port, and then port this. You keep hands while you play magic. Okay. 60 people watching this morning. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. Watching me stumble through this. So they're going to name Thespian Stage, right? So now with this exploration in play, if we find a loam, then, you know, we're kind of cooking. All right, the second one, not great. Then port this. I should think about what I want a crop rotation for if I do. Like, I could play Dark Depths and then Crop Rotation for a Wasteland. Well, now I could play this Stage, Crop Rotation. I could just play both. Crop Rotation the Stage away, Waste this. I think I'm going to go play this, get Crop Rotation, and then Wasteland and Port. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Even though it's legendary, the port doesn't matter if I don't get rid of that. So now I'm like a loam away from being in pretty good shape. All right, that one doesn't really do anything. Um, should I play this or should I think about, because what am I gambling for at this point? I can gamble for Crows and Grip, and if I want to do that, I want more cards in my hand. So I guess I don't play the Dark Depths, or don't play the Exploration. Like, the second Exploration will matter only if I find a Loam. All right, my opponent's cooking. So then maybe I should have played it for that reason because I thought Otsuya was gonna take it anyways. All right. All right. Maybe I should have gambled for Loam, I don't know. Eye of Eugene. I'm gonna die. Rot row. Rot row. Maybe it was better when I went to get Wasteland to go get Tabernacle. And I'm just dead. That sucks. Maybe there was a better thing to gamble for when I gambled. Maybe I was supposed to go get Loam or something. I don't know. Because I was like, all right, why don't I just Wasteland Port and then kind of wait? When I gambled for Exploration on turn one, that either set up like a really fast 2020 or... If I drew loam, then I could like do stuff with porting them. 
So I think that was right to do. I mean, like I'm no, perf- you know, I'm no landsologist, but I think that was a good thing to do. Um, maybe the crop rotation was loose. I'm not sure. All right, I would like to play first. All right, we've got a turn one library. So that's what we're looking for. I'm gonna ditch the dark depths, I think. I'm not gonna play out the second mox until I find like a, uh, until I find a loam. I get my forest. I get a forest so my opponent can't wasteland me. If I'm not alone, then I'm, in, I'm feeling pretty solid. Street Wraith. I hope we're playing Death Shadow. Yes. I get to wasteland that. Do I need a second gamble? What does a second gamble do for me? Second gamble. This one goes get loam. This is probably just good to have, right? Red. For loam. All right, loam got discarded. So now I just wasteland because I want to gamble next turn when I have more cards in my hand. Because the next gamble can actually go get exploration. And then with all the mana I have with a life in the loam, I should be able to just like lock my opponent out of the game. So like dredge loam, maybe even cast loam. Now does casting loam do anything? Yeah, I wanna cast loam because I wanna have the cards in my hand so that my exploration resolves. Or as, I guess as a higher chance of not being discarded. Oh geez, I forgot how this works. Um, I guess we can do this again. And now I should just pay four. So now I gamble for exploration. For exploration, what did I ditch? I ditched a life in the loan, which is whatever. Play this, Wasteland this. Uh, did I mess up? I'm gonna Wasteland this, I might have messed up though. Wasteland this, play Life in the Loam, Loam back my lands. No, I can't because of I play the land. So play this. I'll play the Exploration next turn, I guess. Ditch this, loan back, wasteland, horizon canopy. Okay. So yeah, like that was a little sloppy there, but I, I think I did the right thing when it comes to like establishing a wasteland lock against the deck with like and use my like you know, get my three lands back, play exploration next turn, make a bunch of land drops, probably set up to dark depths my opponent. So like 
It was a little loosey goosey, but I think it was good. It was what we wanted to do. So against Delver decks. I wonder if the spheres and chalices are too slow on the draw. I don't think I want Crows and Grip. I don't really think I want Choke against Delver either, because if I'm behind on board and I just have to like and I choke my opponent, then I'm gonna struggle a lot, I think. Like, I'm not really interested in Caracas. Um not really interested in Barbarian Ring. Though it kills Delver. I think we're playing against a Grixis Shadow deck. Um, Punishing Fire is probably not even that great because it just kills Delver. It doesn't kill like Shadow or Gurmag Angler. And Library might be a little too slow on the draw because we can't like take the damage from it. Maybe I should try this. I'm going to do this. I want Bog because it might be able to throw off Gurmag Angler, I guess. Maybe they might have Snapcaster Mage or something like that. All right. Go for it. It would be nice to have a Blast Zone against Death Shadow and uh, Delver. So this is a quick 2020. Like, play Port or play Thespian Stage. But then I have to expose it i have a ghost quarter which is probably a wasteland yeah i'm gonna keep this hand if i draw a green source then it's really good but i can also ghost quarter myself if i need to my phone plays a delver here okay that's not a delver what did i do with a ponder chose not to shuffle All right, I'm gonna go for this. It can get dazed, but it can get dazed next turn if I wasteland them. Oh, wow. Next turn I'm gonna play Port Ancient Tomb, I think. All right, then playing Ponders is like totally cool. They chose to shuffle. So if they chose to shuffle, then I'm just going to, I don't wanna play my stage yet. I wanna go stage depths in the same turn. So I'm just gonna play Port, play Wasteland, waste this, port my opponent at the end of their turn, and then get set up to go depths plus stage and then give my opponent the business. So as I consider they chose to shuffle. They probably just don't have a land. Oh, they have a land. So what deck do you guys want to see next? We can play Elves or Bant Alluren next. Because we're almost done the third match of the day. Or the first league, excuse me. Or oh, I should be giving my opponent life. That was a pun. I'm just going to make it now. If my opponent goes land Diabolic Edict, then you got me and we can still can play this game. So copy this. Keep this one. Elves, okay. I can do a poll. Uh, exclamation point straw poll. Oh, nice. Land to learn elves. 
think that's how you do it. Maybe not. Maybe I have to go look on the NTG bot thing. Bant Lurin. Let me just check out of the MTG bot. MTGbot.tv slash commands. Um, stop. I think Archmage can make a poll in here. My the greatest mod of all time. Switch point straw poll option one option N. Should work there. There's no comma. Okay, exclamation point. Straw poll. Bant. Alluring elves. Okay, there's the poll. Uh, so we have an exploration, so we're gonna keep. And alone. And a gamble. This guy's sweet. Wasteland. Huh. I feel like we're playing against either Delver with a weird hand or Death and Taxes. Oh shoot, I didn't play another land. Forgot that this makes more lands. Uh oh. So now I want to just waste wasteland this. Imagine if I could have gone double wasteland this turn, how sweet that would have been. I was just focusing on the pole and just zoned out. All right, let's just wasteland this. I'm just going to port my opponent. Makes it prevents them from playing another Pyromancer. Okay, so they just wasteland me, which is which is okay, because now next turn we're going to gamble for Tabernacle. All right. Well, now we're going to loan back our Wasteland. Okay, nice. So let's play this. Ditch this sheltered thicket. Play this. Loan back. This. I'm going to play my port, and then I'm just going to port my opponent. Because I don't want to waste the land drop. Or, like, I want to keep making lands. then next turn I can like waste them and then like gamble yeah sure 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 I think I've had some follows that I've just been missing out on here another wasteland spew lord the man with the plan stain boys Andy with the donation um Ryu Jane is my angel I'm just a little dredging boy. Let's see if we can get a force a little out of our opponent here. Jeez. All right. Where are you at, Tabernacle? We ditched the Tabernacle. One, two, three. Play my land, waste them, play Tabernacle. Sure, you can waste whatever you want. Okay, nice. Get out of my game. Okay, so against Delver, again, I think I just want these.
Um, cards I'm not in love with. But Joku Bog is not great. I think they're pretty much off Terramander at that point, and I'll be wrong. If I'm wrong there, then I'll, I'm okay being wrong. We can side it back in. Um, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to over sideboard. Ghost Quarter is probably kind of medium. No, nah, it's probably okay because like that's how they're gonna get set up through the long game. Yeah, that was a stupid. I'm just gonna cut. I think I'm just gonna bring in two cards. Maybe I, I, I'm actually gonna cut these libraries on the draw. I think library is gonna be a, a tidbit slow. Sort by converted mana cost. Is it? Do I want to cut one more land? I could cut a loam because they're probably gonna try to surgical it. I think Tim says he cuts loams all the time, so I'm gonna cut a loam. We're gonna get big brain here. Because like, we just wanna set up shop. We don't necessarily need to loam our opponent out of the game. All right, this hand's sweet. If my opponent goes land go, I'm gonna wasteland them. They have an island, okay. All right, again, highest upside play is what we're doing. Oh, nope, nope, wrong one. Wrong green one drop. This can get days, but it sets my opponent back. Okay. It's going to feel kind of bad if my opponent wastelands me, but. Okay, no flip. Is there a better breakfast than pizza? Pizza's decent. Okay, so let's play crop rotation, ditch a wasteland. Oh, let's play mox diamond, excuse me. I think I'm just gonna play sphere. I guess I should leave this up in case they counter it to give me the option to crop rotation in response to like a Think I'm a jigger? Okay. Okay, I think we're still in a pretty good spot here. I could like crop rotation away. Well, this crop rotation could just go get punishing fire and we'll be good. Probably Tabernacle also will let us get around Trinity Nemesis. Yeah, whatever. Flip your Delver. Pond or Cube. How are you going this morning, Tannen? New York style pizza is something. Let me tell you what. Okay, waste my waste, sure. All right, I'm gonna play my stage. Punishing fire this. If my opponent forces that, I might have just gone crop rotation into tabernacle, but now I can go, potentially go crop rotation into um, whatever it is. Uh, Dark Depths, and then just get them. But I could also crop rotation to Grove and have some insurance here. I like Chicago. I like I like deep dish pizza. Like it's basically like a lasagna. This is match five already. Yep. Remember, if you're in the chat, we're going to play between two decks next, so you should vote. We're going to either play Bant Alluren or Elves. Yeah, veggie toppings are much better. 
Yeah, I tried a lot of Blue Red Delver. Hmm. So I can crop rotation for, um, I think, I think it's okay. The, the problem with, so like Delver's just Delver, like it's a pretty solid deck. I think that the, let's play anything but lands. This is the last match of lands. So here's the decision point. I have a couple things I can do here. I can crop rotation for a Grove and then just nab this, counter this surgical. Or I can just go for the win. And I think I'm just going to go for the win. So I'm just going to like let this happen. Crop rotation. Use this. Get Dark Depths. We need one more mana. So I'm just going to play this Thespian stage in case we need a draw. Pass. Maybe I should have done it then. Maybe I did my math wrong. Like, yeah, I messed my math up. I kind of just want to do it now before this brainstorm resolves. Sack this. Make it 2020. Yeah, we're just going to do it. Exile days, sure. And then I think I'm gonna cycle this and a turn. Uh, if you really wanna have fun with lands, you should play the good old rug lands with intuition player, let's E. Huh. That does sound cool. But we're just playing we're playing donos now. We're looking to set up for the Barreros. I wonder if I should Thespian stage the island. So my opponent can't wasteland it. Scary Terry. I'm gonna cycle the sheltered ticket. Gamble. I only have one card. Fifty fifty shot for us to find um Merit Lage. I'm gonna do it. Where are you? Where are you, Dark Depths? Oh, yeah. One, two, stack. All right, I'm not going to expose this to Wasteland. I think that it's difficult to say that any three mana card will have a place in the format that's not Trinity Nemesis. All right, crack me for five. All right, and then I'm just going to upkeep this so that we don't get wastelanded. And then it's like, whatever, vapor snag me, bro. Leovold's hard to cast. All right, they shuffled. So it sounds like we're at least gonna get to kill this Terramander, which is gonna buy us a bunch of time. Let me check out this one. 
test here to see what we're doing. All right, there we go. All right, um, that was fun. I like playing lands. I think lands is pretty sweet. Um, let me get this straw pull up here. We're gonna just hustle along here because I want to get a lot of decks in today. Um, I got them piling up, and I'm I'm not gonna be able to stream for a little while. So let me stop our recording.